Yeah, beat your addiction, live free Ralph Freed Ricks is who you see Listen in when you're feeling low Take back your life, today's show Beat your addiction, live free Ralph Freed Ricks is who you see Listen in when you're feeling low Take back your life, today's show Stay positive, hope, and keep faith Stand strong against any odds that you face Put away the alcohol and the drugs Fill your time with the things you love Addiction is tough, but it's worth the work Treat your body what it's worth Spread positivity, inspire all If we stand together, we will never fall I help others see the other sides of life A soul of life, letting go of the strife So give me a call, I can help 1-844-405 Help Homeless shelters, hospitals, jails, wherever you are I am Ralph Friedrichs and I am here for you 1-844-405 Help
Yeah, change your future, it starts today Live life to the fullest, never skip a day Create hope, spread positivity Beat your addictions and negativity Ralph Free Rich is here for you Call today so we can help you 1-844-405-HELP 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 We are here for you Call us today Hello, my name is Ralph Friedrichs and I am an addiction recovery coach and the host of the Take Your Life Back Today show. As an addiction recovery coach, I want to share something and this most important subject about substance abuse. I want to leave an everlasting impact upon you, so let me be crystal clear. Just imagine, imagine being buried alive. Let's say you're in the coffin, but you also still know that you're alive. You don't know how to open that coffin and push the enormous weight of the dirt upon the lid up. You think about giving up and waiting for death to arrive, but you also think about banging on the coffin so maybe you can unsettle the dirt upon the lid and maybe, just maybe, someone might see it and start digging their way down to you to help you. That is what it's like to find yourself at the lowest point of alcohol and drug addiction. You know you need help, you know you can't do it on your own, but you don't know where to find help. In reality, there are people who can help you standing nearby your grave, but you just don't know that. You just you think you're just going to die today. Usually, though, people don't think of death when they're habitually using drugs. In order to feed an addiction, you have to be good at repressing the fear of death. I often ask you, my audience, did it ever come across your mind that when you abuse drugs and alcohol that you might, you just might overdose? With this, I leave you one last thought. Don't be that person in the coffin banging on the lid hoping that someone might hear you. Take the first step to finding your new life. Finding your life at 844-405-HELP, which is to take your life back today. Show my name is Ralph Reeves and let me help you take your life back for your life is gone. It is people like myself and Larry Geis from the Geis Academy at 516-458-2741. People like us that are crutches for you to lean on during your worst times in life, whether it's low self-esteem, depression, alcohol, drug addiction, or any other subject uh, that seems to be uh, bring you down in life. It is people like Larry Geis and myself that will bring you up by being that crutch, by being there to help you live for today and for tomorrow. I always say to my audience, it doesn't matter where you came from, it really doesn't. What matters is where you are now and where you are going tomorrow, folks. It is important that we learn from yesterday, but you can change it. Go to uh, on the internet and Google www.odysseyconsultant.org, which is Larry Geis, Geis Academy. He will, able, he will be able to help you with your addiction. He is like the bridge between addiction and recovery. Walk with him hand in hand. Let him lay out a plan for your recovery in the future. Give him a call at 516-458-2741. That's Larry Geis from the Geis Academy. And when you speak to him, let him know you heard about him on the Take Your Life Back Today show with me, Ralph Friedrichs. Folks, if you've been seeing my videos a little blurry, it's not the quality of the videos, because I make sure that stays crystal clear. It's the effectiveness of your glasses. And what better way than to start looking for a new pair of glasses than to go to www.globaleyeglasses.com. They are focused on saving you money. They want you to be able to focus on seeing things better. They have everything that every freestanding brick and mortar uh, local shop in your neighborhood has at a fraction of its cost. They have over 1,200 frames, whether it be plastic, metal, men's, ladies, or children. They have lenses like photochromatic transition progressives, which are like no line bifocals, line bifocals. They have coatings like anti reflecting coating, UV coating, and scratch coating. They have lenses that are thinner if you have a thicker prescription. They also have shatter proof lenses called polycarbonate for children. 
folks, I have over 30 years experience in, opt in the optometry business, and not only am I your host for this show, not only am I an addiction recovery coach, but I can assist you placing your order like I've done for over 225 people so far that watch me. All you need to do is text me at 631-599-0218 or call me at 844-405-HELP, and I will help place your order. I'll help you select a proper frame for you, for your size, and the proper lenses for your needs. But you need to make that move. Go to www.globaleyeglasses.com and let them focus on saving you money. Folks, today's topic is 10 tips on how to deal with loneliness. Loneliness is one of the leading uh, problems in, in the world right now. Uh, it leads to depression. Uh, even if you live uh, in one of the busiest cities in the world, you can still feel lonely. In fact, that can make loneliness feel even more horrible because of the size of the city. Feeling lonely is an unusual feeling, though. It is perfectly natural. Most people feel lonely and abandoned at some point in their lives, so here are 10 tips to fight loneliness. The first tip is, is that you have to understand what loneliness really is. Don't confuse a feeling for a fact. Loneliness is more of a feeling than it is a fact. Loneliness is often brought on by something that has triggered a bad memory rather than the fact that you are really alone. It's um, the brain working overtime trying to make sense of things but the fact is, is that you are probably not alone, you just feel that way. Number two is learn to control your thoughts. Another tip on how to deal with loneliness is to learn to control your own thoughts and start challenging them. Look into your heart because feeling lonely can often be confused with feelings of inaccuracy. Focus your mind on the things that you do best and begin to believe in yourself again. And that way, you can build the confidence to reach out to other people again. We covered the, the topic uh, a couple days ago on uh, how to build, uh, build yourself up, how to feel better about yourself. Number three is read more. Reading might seem to be a lonely pastime, but it can help you discover the new things that give you more confidence in life. You can learn so much from reading, and it will give you the motivation to take action and make your life more fulfilling. Number four, don't be afraid to get back in touch with old friends. Another good tip on how to deal with loneliness is simple. Get back in touch with old friends. You've got nothing to lose, my friends. You have friends that are only an email or a phone call away, and the only thing holding you back is you. Just because you haven't spoken to them, it doesn't mean that they have forgotten about you. So pick up the phone, switch on your laptop, and make contact with him. Number five, don't fear to expand your friendship circle. You, you can't find new friends in the most unexpected places. Uh, you can find new friends in the most unexpected places. So don't shy away from strangers. You don't want to be approaching people randomly in the street, but when someone does hold out their hand in friendship, don't run away because this time it may be for real. Number six, try writing. Our next tip on how to deal with loneliness is to try writing. Writing is a great way to express your emotions. Try writing down on a paper or on a laptop the emotions that you are feeling right now and it will help you to understand better what is going on in your mind. It doesn't have to be a prose worthy of literacy masterpiece. It just, um, it's just a great way to let your feelings flow to understanding them better and for you to actually see what you're thinking. Number seven, keep yourself busy. Another good suggestion on how to deal with loneliness is to keep yourself busy. If there is one thing that will make you feel lonely, then that might be boredom. Sitting at home dwelling on your problems will make things seem worse. So do something, anything to occupy your mind and you will feel less lonely in the long run. Number eight, Understand that you don't need to have people to be happy. There is nowhere on the manual of life that says you have to be around other people to be happy. Many people would love to have some time alone. You don't have to be in a crowd to have a good time because the best friend that you can ever have is yourself. Number nine, take up some hobbies. 
Next tip on how to deal with loneliness is take up some classes in a new and a new hobby, and you will find that people whom you have common interests with will be there. You can start a new hobby simply because you enjoy it and you want to make new friends, and that's fine, and it is a bonus, but if you don't, then that's fine too. Just take up the hobby. Number 10, friends aren't always the answer. You can have all the friends in the world, but still feel lonely. Try and figure out what is really missing from your life, and, and that way you might be able to figure out the solution for the real problem. You may not be lonely. You may just be seeking something new in your life. How to deal with loneliness. If you have more tips than these 10, text them to me at 631-599-0218 so I can extend my next video to add more than 10 tips on how to deal with loneliness. Friends, even if you live in the busiest cities in the world, you can steal uh, you can still feel lonely. In fact, that can make loneliness even more horrible because of the size of the city. Feeling lonely isn't an unusual feeling, though. It is perfectly natural for people to feel that way. Most people feel lonely and abandoned at some point in their lives. I felt lonely, and I'm sure you have. So here are the 10 tips one more time, and I won't go into a full explanation. We'll just cover a sentence or two. But the first one is we need to understand what loneliness is. Don't confuse the feeling for a fact. Loneliness is more than a feeling than it is a fact. Loneliness is often brought on by something that has triggered a bad memory rather than the fact that you are really lonely. It's the brain working overtime. You need to learn your control. Um, I mean, you need to learn to control your thoughts. Another tip on how to deal with loneliness is to learn to control your own thoughts and start to challenge them. Look into your heart because feeling lonely can often be confused with feeling uh, uh, of other s sort of situations. Focus your mind on things that you do best to begin and believe in yourself again. Number three is to read more. Reading might seem to be a lonely pastime, but it can help you discover new things and give you more confidence in life. Don't be afraid to get back in touch with old friends, whether it's through social media, whether it's through the telephone. Just because you haven't spoken to these friends for a while does not mean that they don't remember you. Get in touch with them, touch on uh, some good old memories, and uh, that will alleviate some of the loneliness. Don't fear to expand your friendship circle. You can find new friends in the most unexpected places. So don't shy away from strangers. You don't want to be approaching people randomly in the street either, but when someone does hold out their hand of friendship, don't run away, because this time it may be for real. Try writing. Our next tip on how to deal with loneliness is try writing. Writing is a great way to express your emotions. Write down on the paper what you're thinking, because sometimes when we have it in our mind, we try to analyze it, but when you see it on paper, what's in your mind, you might be able to figure it out a little better. Keep yourself busy. Another good suggestion on how to deal with loneliness is to keep yourself busy. If there's a, one thing that will make you feel lonely, then it is boredom. Sitting at home dwelling on your problems will only make them seem worse. So do something, anything to occupy your mind, and you will feel a whole lot better. Understand that you don't need to have people to be happy. A lot of times, a lot of people love to be around other people, but... It's always nice to have that lonely, not that lonely, I should say, that alone time. Alone time is, is good for you sometimes, and many people would love to have some uh, time alone. Uh, I know I do. Uh, take up some hobbies. Next tip on how to deal with lonely is to take up classes in, in a new hobby, and you'll soon find people who you have uh, interest, common interest with. Uh, it could be hobbies like art class, it could be... Um, it could be many of hobbies, uh, athletic hobbies, uh, it could be writing classes, um, but if you get to meet people that way, that is great and it will help fight your loneliness. Last on the list is friends aren't always the answer. You can have all the friends in the world but still feel lonely. Try and figure out what is really missing from your life and uh, that way you might be able to to better understand a solution or figure out a solution for what is missing in your life.
You may not be lonely. You may just be seeking something new in your life. And if you have any more than these 10 things that I have spoken about, please text me at 631-599-028 and let me know what other ones I can add to my list for an upcoming episode. Folks, isn't it time that you take your life into your own hands and take your life back? Do you have drug addiction, alcohol addiction? Do you have depression? Do you have self, uh, low self-esteem issues? Well, if you do, isn't it time to take your life back? Don't be like that, that person laying in a coffin alive, banging on the lid for someone to hear, hoping that someone comes and helps you. Take the bull by its horns and start taking your life back. If you start thinking positive, positive things will happen in your life. That I can guarantee you. The negativity that, that's within all of our lives is the worst feeling of all, and it brings you down, so you need to start thinking positive. If you just start saying no to drugs and alcohol, that is the first step in taking your life back. If you start realizing that drugs and alcohol will eventually kill you, is another way to take your life back. Didn't it ever dawn on you by abusing drugs and alcohol that maybe you just might overdose? People face life issues each and every day. People face health issues. Why add the chances of killing yourself with drugs and alcohol? Why not take your life back today? Reach out to people like Larry Geis at 516-458-2741 to help him. I mean, ask him to help you with your drug and alcohol or any other uh, conditions that you might have. They're standing by the phone waiting for your phone call. I would say, I don't know where you're located, but you know you're watching me right now. And all it is is picking up the phone or sending me an email or sending me a text and saying, Ralph, help me take my life back. Teach your children to say no to drugs, to, to no, no to drugs and alcohol. Start them off right. If you abuse drugs and alcohol because your parents were doing, break that link in the chain by avoiding your children from following your footsteps. And I'm not saying it's too late for you to change, because you can change. You just need to get up and take action. Take action like saying, I have a problem, I need help. And you'll see your life coming back together again. Learn to live with your addiction. Learn and plan a good recovery plan. And you'll see things like your relationships coming together again. Your spiritual feelings coming back again. Your financial situations getting fixed again. Your skin color and your health coming back together. But it all takes work and it takes tiny little steps to make those changes. Those changes will not happen with one giant leap. You have to put the work into it. Like anything in life, the more you put in, the more you get out. Start by also helping other people. When you help other people, you feel better about yourself. Do me a favor, when you finish this video, go to the mirror and look at the mirror. What do you see? Do you see a happy person, a healthy person? Or do you see someone that's hiding behind a bottle of booze or some crack? If you see that person, you need to make the changes. And I'm begging you to make the changes because if you're watching me, you still have the chance to make the changes in life. But it's up to you to do that. For years, so many people wanted me to change, and I did not want to change. Yes, I stopped here and there. That way people would stop bothering me about changing to giving up alcohol. But until I was ready, it didn't happen. And that's what I'm telling you. You have to be ready to make the change. You have to be ready to want to live an extended life. You have to be ready to take your life back. Folks, I hope to God, no matter where you are watching me today, that you have the best day of your life. But I always hope and I always pray that no matter where you are, that you have a sober rest of your life. And if you call me at 844-405-HELP, I will help take your life back. But you need to make the phone call. Folks, have the best day of your life and may God bless you. Yeah!
Change your future, it starts today Live life to the fullest, never skip a day Create hope, spread positivity Beat your addictions and negativity Ralph Friedrich is here for you Call today so we can help you 1-844-405-HELP 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 We are here for you Call us today
The show is over, but your life starts today Taking back your life's the only way Keep faith, stay positive, push through Take back your life, it starts with you Alcohol and drugs can't control your life Let go of the negative and the strife Ralph Free Rick is the man guiding your way The show is over, but your life starts today Call Ralph Friedrich at 1-844-405-HELP That's 1-844-405-HELP We hope you love the show today and tune in next time Take back your life today show with Ralph Friedrich Yeah